So one of the more popular custom sneaker designs over the past year or so has been an Astro World theme. We haven't had the chance to do one, but recently we had the opportunity to create a really cool Astro World theme on a pair of Neymar soccer boots. So let's go ahead and show you how these came out. So after we have our cleats all completely prepped and taped up, there is one additional surface that I'm gonna tape off. It's these shark teeth that are included on these Neymar cleats. Anytime you have a cool signature feature of a cleat or shoe that you can then feature later on, I always think it's cool to try to re-bring that back. So I'm gonna tape these off and we're gonna utilize these a little bit later. So as far as the overall inspiration for the design, what I'm really going for is trying to think about if Travis were to release a pair of soccer cleats as part of the Astroworld merch, you know, what would that potentially look like? So I went for this tie-dye effect or acid wash. I feel like there was a lot of cool designs as far as the apparel went that really incorporated those types of backgrounds. So I wanted to bring that out here as our base. So anytime we do a design like this, we always get asked, where do we get our stencils that we're able to use for backgrounds? And for this tie-dye stencil, we already went ahead and created an option for you guys to purchase directly from our Etsy store. So go ahead and check that out. That will be linked in the description if you are interested. We're going to kick things off with a dark gray base and then I'm going to be utilizing black along with light gray through our tie-dye stencil. After we have our base and background laid down, what I'm going to do is use the inside and outside of each cleat to take up a large portion with some of that iconography from the Astro World line. So first off, I'm going to lay down the positive portion of this Astro World text, get that nice and sized up exactly how I want it, and then I'm able to lay down the negative portion and start to remove some of those inner pieces. Then we have the wishy you were here globe on the outside of the other boot the cactus logo on the inside of one of these and then I'm going to be doing a cartoon of the Travis Scott action figure on the inside of the other then on the tongues of both I'm going to be utilizing that Travis face logo now we're ready to go ahead and get all of these stencils base coated primed and ready for some color so letter by letter, you'll see me starting to fill in some of these colors in that Astro World text. And then I'm just gonna be covering up each letter after I complete it with a piece of tape and moving on to the next one. For our Wish You Were Here logo, all I'll need to do first is lay down a blue for the actual globe. And then I'm gonna start to fill in all the details a little bit later by hand. Same thing for our cactus logo. We're just gonna fill this in with green and then all of this is gonna get detailed later along with a hot pink outline. For our action figure, I'm just gonna lay down a skin tone and then we're gonna start to fill in some of the details a little bit later. Now, as we start to peel back our stencil and reveal some of that Astro World text, this could have all just as easily been done by hand, but it does save me a little bit of time in the long run when I'm able to do this with an airbrush where I can quicker switch out colors and I'm just able to fly through this a bit easier. For our action figure, now you'll see I'm just grabbing my toothpick and then we're gonna be utilizing a lighter and darker shade of that skin tone to start to pack in some of the detail. For our Wish You Were Here logo, now we just need to start to fill in some of the contents. We're gonna do a couple different outlines around this globe, and then we just have our Wish You Were Here text on top of this. Now that all of our main logos are done, the only details that we have left are filling in our swoosh. I'm just going with a solid black since we have so many other colorful details featured throughout. I don't want that swoosh to take away from any of those. And then for those shark teeth that we taped off earlier, what I'm gonna do is just do a simple red gradient, which will one, first tie into the shoe, and then some of the wallpapers that you commonly see with a lot of the Astro World line has this really cool gradient along with a little bit of a starry night look and a couple other things on top of it. So that's what we're gonna be featuring on our shark teeth on the sides of the shoe. And now here is a final look at how these Astro World Neymar cleats turned out. So if you haven't already, make sure you guys go and watch our last episode of Reviewing Your Customs, which features the top four from our DCF Horror Contest, and you, the public, get to vote on the winner. And make sure you stay tuned for an announcement about the winner of that contest later in the week. So please make sure you guys have post notifications turned on, subscribed if you're not already, go ahead and give this video a like if you enjoyed seeing us make this pair of Astro World cleats. I had a lot of fun doing an Astro World theme for the first time. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing it, and we will see you guys in that next video.